Mr. Mayor, first item is an ordinance allowing Conway Corporation to accept wastewater and to set rates from the Preston area uh, outside of the uh, city limits. And we have an ordinance to be read for this. It's Ordinance 023. 33. 33. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Carroll, are you? Or? Yeah, Mr. Carroll. It's hard for me to call you Mr. Carroll. I just want you to know that. You don't, <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's, you don't have to call me Mr. Carroll. Most, most people call me Brett, and that'll be fine. Well, I appreciate um, everybody's time this evening, consideration. Uh, I've got just a few opening comments. Uh, we'll try to uh, be respectful of your time, but, but take as much time as it needs to, to make you guys feel comfortable with what we're, what we're recommending. So I just prepared a few opening comments. Um, uh, so, again, thank you for your time and consideration. Uh, by, by the way, Brett Carroll, CEO of Comic Corporation, in case you don't know who I am. Uh, uh, there is an issue in our community on the topic of wastewater effluent uh, that requires resolution, uh, and Comic Corp is in a unique position to offer the optimal solution. As you know, city council approval is required before we can provide wastewater services outside the city limits of Conway. Uh, in this particular circumstance, we believe our recommendation uh, best serves the city of Conway and those that rely on sanitary sewer uh, in this particular area. Uh, Brett McDaniel, Manager of Engineering and Planning, is going to briefly go over the operational considerations, and Tracy Moore, our Chief Financial Officer, is going to go over the um, present our, rate, our recommended rates to provide service. But I want to mention that this will not affect our in-city customers uh, in terms of rates, nor will it affect our, our in-city customers in terms of customer service. Uh, the Common Court Board of Directors has, uh, and the Co Lake Conway Community Wastewater Utility has unanimously approved our recommendation, and I'd ask you to consider approval as well. Now, thank you again for your time and consideration. I'm going to let M uh, Mr. McDaniel come up and, and, and uh, present, and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys might have about any of this. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. Thank you, Mayor, Council. Uh, Brett McDaniel, Manager of Engineering and Planning, Common Corporation. We have a few slides to show you, just to kind of talk a little bit about this project, and then Tracy will follow up with some financial information. So just to give you some perspective, and we have some representatives back here from the Lake Conway Wastewater Utility. The uh, Preston area that will be served by this project is depicted there in that, in that uh, thick black box, if you will. This is kind of an old map. Where it says uh, Conway City Limits, there on the, uh, the northwest, that is where the Meadows Corporate Center is now. And then uh, Lake Conway on the east, and then <clears throat> to the south is the Baker-Wills Interchange. So this is in our community. Uh, so this wastewater plant came online in about 2007. This was uh, one of the first of several that was proposed. Also included uh, Big Cove East, Big Cove West. Y'all might remember, um, I believe his name was Faye Shepard, mm -hmm. uh, off of Washington Avenue. He had a, a grant writing business there. I believe he has since passed, but he was the original person that was applying for grants. And I can remember this project dating back to 1994. So it's, wow. it's old. Yeah. They've been trying a long time. They tried a long time to uh, get all those septic systems <laughs> off of Lake Conway. And so this was the one successful project, and it's uh, effectively a wastewater step system septic tank effluent pump. So basically a lot of those houses that had septic tanks, they installed a, a little centrifugal pump. It's a commonly available pump at Wynn Nelson here in Conway, so there's not like a lead time issue or anything like that. It's not complex. Pumps into some forced mains that go to a conveyance system, a gravity conveyance system that goes to a, a, a treatment plant there off of, uh, I believe it's Brennan Landing. So um, anyway, it serves about 400 residential customers and 15 commercial. And uh, March, in March of 2022, the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality issued a consent administrative order for numerous violations of water quality. Those included, I remember one, uh, one particular violation listing. It had 35 different violations comprised of uh, total suspended solids, dissolved oxygen, oil and grease, and uh, Ammonia, nitrogen, and phosphorus. And the ammonia, nitrogen, and phosphorus are commonly called nutrients. 
So the bottom line of this slide is <clears throat> this type of treatment technology, which is a, a recirculating sand filter that met permits at the time it was built, and the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality issued permit limits that it could meet at that time. That type of technology cannot remove ammonia nitrogen and total phosphorus. Uh, so a couple of things to point out here, the reason it can't meet it. I want to say the, uh, the permit limits are typically based on a, uh, what they call Q710 or a seven year out of 10 year uh, worst drought period. And so you can imagine Lake Conway with uh, during drought conditions, very little flow going into it. Obviously those permit limits are going to be quite stringent. Whereas compared to the city of Conway, your two treatment plants discharge into the Arkansas River. So the flow there, the ratio, you know, you can imagine there's a lot of water in the Arkansas River flowing on a daily basis. Okay, this slide has a lot of numbers and it's basically comparing our permit limits to, um, to that of the little recirculating sand filter with the uh, fluorine contact. But basically, it just kind of goes to what I said a minute ago. Our permit limits are a lot less stringent, but even if we did have ammonia, nitrogen, and phosphorus limits in the future, we did, by planning and design, allow for the uh, elevation difference and the physical space to put in treatment technology that can meet those limits. So even operating under perfect conditions, the, uh, the recirculating sand filter cannot meet the uh, limits consistently. So zooming back out, Again, this uh, map right here shows our Meadows Corporate Center and shows where the Preston area is and you can see the Baker Wills interchange down there at the bottom, which is the south entrance to Conway. This all is within our community and this project is, I guess I should tell you, it's basically a pump station with a force main that discharges into the existing conveyance system there at the Meadows Corporate Center. So treatment technology that we have and this solution is consistent with our mission statement. It's safe, it's reasonably affordable, it's reliable. Our treatment technology is innovative compared to this and it's environmentally sound. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McDaniel. Yes, sir. Thank you all. I'm Tracy Moore, the uh, Chief Financial Officer at Conway Corporation. And Aaron, which key? You know, I, I, I hope to make it to heaven, but if I get there in their computers, I may be disappointed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I was charged with coming up with a rate that was fair and equitable. And as Brett mentioned earlier, uh, our first benchmark that we wanted to achieve was to, to assure it was a rate that uh, where existing Conway Cor Corporation customers and City of Conway did not uh, cross subsidize these, these folks in this area. Also, one of the things I wanted to make sure of is that we did charge a fair and equ equitable rate. Uh, we, we don't, we're not looking to gouge these folks. We're looking at a fair return on, on uh, you know, their investment. And I think uh, we have come up with a rate. You'll see several tables there, and I apologize if there are uh, too many, but. Uh, the current rates uh, that the folks out there are paying is uh, 1935 plus uh, 532 for every thousand gallons over for a cost of about 3531. Uh, ANRC proposed uh, lending them some money and rebuilding a plant, and their cost, according to which way they went there, either 1.4 million dollar loan or 4 million, we're going to be 59.33 a month. For 4,000 gallons or 102.41. Our current customers pay uh, 24.51 for the first uh, for the customer charge in their in their first thousand gallons, and then 8.52 per thousand uh, for a uh, 41 dollars and 55 cents for 4,000 gallons. Our proposed rate uh, would be. Actually, $26.87, that includes 1,000 gallons. Uh, Conway Corp customers pay a minimum of 2,000. But uh, as we study the flows uh, from, from these folks, we think most of those folks, they're currently paying the 1,000 gallon minimum. And we felt like that we should extend that same uh, rate base across to them. So uh, 
their, their minimum charge would be 2687 under or what we're proposing, or if they uh, use 4,000 gallons, it'd be 5111. Here's an estimated income statement, and as you can see, uh, estimated revenues based upon a, a population of 400 customers, which we rounded off. Uh, estimated revenues of 245,000. Uh, estimated expenses, including depreciation of 202,820. Uh, with debt service of approximately, they do have some existing debt. We will uh, we will pay that debt out of their out of their rates. And uh, estimated capital expenditures of about 5,000 annually. And so uh, our total estimated expenses and expenditures are only they're 241. So. It's not a lot of money to us, but we felt like it, this was a community problem. It's an environmental concern, and we felt like we had the facilities in place to handle it. And also, we are not uh, advocating that we have to add any employees. As far as uh, maintenance of their infrastructure at their, their distribution or collection system, they use a third party now, and we are proposing that we would continue that relationship. They charge in that as-needed basis. Uh, we are not at, uh, advocating that we add a, another distribution crew or another any more trucks or anything at this time. We believe they're well served in that relationship, and, and as I understand it, the, the parties are interested in continuing with that. I believe that's the last slide I have. So there's, this is the same slideshow we use for our board of directors. So uh, that is our proposal as far as the rates and, and, and Brett's uh, recommendation as far as the infrastructure. And any questions from any of you, uh, we would be happy to try to answer them. Mr. Moore, just so that folks that are watching will understand, this does not increase rates to the current citizens of Conway. Is that correct? No, sir, it will not. Thank you. I knew that, but I want everyone to know that it does not. No, it does not. Thank you. Thank you. Council, do you have any questions for Mr. Moore, Mr. McDaniel, or Mr. Uh, Brett? Uh, are the people in Preston on board with this? I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. 400. 400, yeah. customers. Well, their board ha has passed it. And uh, okay. so, uh, as I understand it, that board will go away uh, if, upon uh, adoption of this. Now, it is going to be a slight increase to them, as our mm -hmm. slides show but substantially less than it if they maintained their current relationship. They have to rebuild that plant or they have to let us treat it. And uh, you can see what their cost. Uh, based on uh, Arkansas Natural Resources Commission estimates, their their monthly bill could have gone for 4000 could be 59.33 at the lower uh, loan amount or 102.41 at the $4 million. And we are proposing for 4000 5111 so. We think it's a well. While, while they're they're going up some from thirty five thirty one to fifty one eleven, it's it's uh it's it would be three times that much on under the four million dollar plan that ANRC proposed. Tracy, have you shown the total cost of doing this project with them? Is that number? Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Hawkins, they got some grants. From two sources, uh, I, I don't recall those acronyms, uh, but that will fund the infrastructure needed to get it to our to our collection mains, if you will. My costs were related around what's our variable cost to treat that sewer, what's the wear and tear on our existing equipment, and uh, what are our out of pocket costs to pay that third party contract. Uh, we are not going to be at any capital cost uh, initially on this project. No, it's all for grants. No, I wasn't uh, questioning the cost. I was just wondering if the people down there knew about this. Uh, I don't know, Brett. You, want to... um, I, you know, we have a couple of representatives from their board here. They unanimously approved our recommendation. So I think they in generally know that, that their rates are going to go up. Um, you know, as Tracy pointed out, they've got a couple of options if they don't choose to do, if, if we don't move forward with this recommendation, they can borrow money from 
Arkansas Natural Resources for $1.4 million, which will raise the rates to $59.33. Or, and that's just to do the pump and the conveyance to our system. Or they can borrow $4 million roughly to rebuild their plan. And no, then I, the prices are great. I was yeah. just wondering if the people knew about it. That's the only thing I was. You, you were wondering if people what? Knew about what's going on. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, we're trying to provide the best option I've available. Some great prices. Yeah. I just wanted to. Yeah. I, I don't know. With the gentleman from from the Funk House, do you have any comment on that? So. Good evening, Jason Funkhauser. I'm a uh, board member. Uh, our board consists of five members, and then we have uh, the the director of the plant, uh, Steve Kirk. Four of the five members and Steve Kirk are from the area. They've been communicating this to the residents and they all are accepting this. They understand this. Now we've not had any kind of a public meeting or anything like that, but there have been no negative comments. Uh, everybody understands that the plant is failing and we're going to have to do something. This is the least costly uh, alternative. That's fine. That's all, I was so that, that, that we have not had public meetings or anything like that. It's just been word of mouth from the board of directors. I make a motion to uh, approve the ordinance allowing Conway Corporation to accept wastewater and set rates from the Preston area outside of the city. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this ordinance. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Ordinance 02333. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Jones? Uh, yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Ms. Tucker? Yes. Ms. Webb? Aye. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Hopper? Yes. Passes eight to zero. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Brett. You like Brett. that better? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carroll. <Appreciate> <laughs>